CQ, CQ. This is W9GFO. Is anybody out there? Don't you know people need to see what I've seen? They need to see. This is the way it's been done for billions of years. Small moves are. This is Turtle Island, and she needs some help. Here's one thing. Finally got this schematic loaded in here, but whoever built this, I know the person's name, I just don't know it offhand. I'm keeping track of everybody who has contributed to Turtle Island. The problem is that the leaf blocks they used on this were um, the kind that decay. So no sooner did I get this on here than you see how much of this tree has decayed. So one thing that needs to happen, and I do have um, world edit on this so it's not really hard to do, but one of the things that needs to happen is adding spheres of leaves on here and sculpting the tree back so it looks better. That's something I need help with. Then we've built a ring around this. There are going to be little houses, like very tiny little huts tucked away in here and a few little cave like things I'm trying to find one here um, make it look more natural I've been digging a few little cave things in here um, well that's possible I'm not using default so it might look a little weird to you but it's easier for me to see this I try to record in not default but for this I need to be able to get around quickly and see what I'm doing. I need the turtle double check to make sure that these used to be lime wool and I changed them to uh, emerald ore and these used to be, I think it was green wool and I changed them to clay and these used to be another kind of wool that I changed to a different color clay. So that's some stuff that needs to happen. Now let me try warping it. Let me try. Warp. Uh, S P L I P W O O D. Ding. Yeah. Okay. So this is split wood. This needs a little bit of interior work on it. So I'm not crazy about a lot of mobs spawning in here. So it could use a little like stuff. Um, now this is temporary. These are some schematics that I'm going to be moving into place. Many of them will go to Turtle Island. Uh, they are little animals and so on. I also have a whole bunch of these little trees. This is only two for an example that I want to put on the mountain sides and the grasslands and stuff around Turtle Island. I have lots of these trees. So that's a thing that needs to happen. Um, you see all these cute little animals? I want those all around Turtle Island. This area here is the part that needs to be all messed up. It needs to be uglified. Pew! With lots of environmental degradation and waste. Um, we've gone around here and we found spawners. And when you go into game mode 3, G A M E M O D E 3. These pillars won't be here, of course, when the person plays the game. So, excuse me, this is a spoiler, but kind of has to be done. You see, there are spawners down here. Um, hmm. I'm going to try something, but I don't think it's going to work. Control D? E? No. That won't work. Darn. Okay, well, I had um, the night effect thing pasted in my thing but I don't have it anymore so um, what we've done is we've made little fakie caves that go from one spawner to the next the, the uh, spawners have in them every one of them has one marked item um, nuts this one doesn't oh wait maybe in this chest uh, let's see. well it should have a marked item in it but it doesn't I don't know. Maybe I'm in the wrong version of the game. Oh no. 
Okay, here's a bread. No. Is there another chest in here? No. Here. Well, this is not good because there should be a named item in each one of these chests. Because we made a book and it says what the item is and um, what the name is and the coordinates of where the item is. But I'm not seeing any in here. I could just be not seeing, you know, because I do that. Nope, that's sweet. That's not a named item. And I thought we did all of these, so. Nope. Okay. Let me go back up. See, we made like fakey caves that go from one dungeon to the next. And remember, I um, set this to max dungeons. So there's a lot of them. You try one of these. They could have. I could have messed up and gone in a wrong game version or something. I don't know. You know this game. There's this thing in the world to do. Now I'm not even seeing a spawner here. I mean, a dungeon here. There should be one directly underneath each. Oh, we don't. Nope, I'm under a thing. Maybe we didn't finish it? That's possible, I guess. We could be in the wrong place. Because there should be a dungeon down here. Or maybe it's because I don't have night vision and I forget how to do that effect. Which is also possible. Oh, wait. Does that one have a sign on it? No, it does not. Okay, it also doesn't have a spawner on top of it, so that could be a thing. Hmm. You get under this one. That one doesn't have a sign on it either. I tried to mark all of these with signs, so I know which ones we'd already done. Wow. You see why I need help? So, the basic principle is, there's a bunch of them that are all lined up in a row. I could be at the wrong village, too, you know. Yeah, it's starting to look like what's the problem, maybe. See, this one's done. See the redstone? That's it. I thought we put signs. We put redstone. Okay, so those haven't been done yet. Um, okay, but we did make caves, and we gave redstone torches to help people find the next dungeon. All right? It's not way easy, but it's doable. Um, I want to use redstone torches because I want natural spawn in here. Um, I also wanted things to spawn in the dungeon. So let's see. Hope. See? That one's named Hope. So if you go to... So the reason I need help is while one person is um, naming the thing and giving the coordinates, the other person is writing it down in a book. So that I have a complete list of where the dungeons are. Now we're not doing this in the entire map. We're only doing this in about three areas. And over here, this is the first part of my environmental degradation is putting this junk down. Um, over here there is a chest. And inside the chest is the book that I can't seem to pick up. But why can't why can't I pick up this book? What's wrong with my mouse? Um, I don't know. Really? Okay. Oh! Game mode 1. Darn it, you can't pick up stuff. What am I thinking? Alright, so, um. If I'm in game mode 1. Wait a minute. I have creative inventory. Okay. And my skin is mixed, messed up again. This seems to be happening on um, the Emerald Isle in several places. Because I was on the Emerald Isle today. And I saw there was an issue. Now, be careful you don't screw up the book. See split wood, and there's the coordinates, and um, what the item is, and um, um, what we named it. See, I'm done. Put that back. I should make copies of this so it doesn't get messed up. Yeah, my skin's messed up, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five. It was when I was on the regular Emerald Isle server today too. I saw somebody else that looked just like this. That's the front of me. <laughs> See? So, I don't get what that's about. It has something to do with them. It's not me. One, two, three, four, five. So, whoop. No, I hit the wrong one. Two, three, four, five. Okay. 
So that's some of what needs to happen. There's also the whole copying and pasting because as we degrade this landscape, we're going to be putting in coal mines and oil derricks and uranium mining and stuff like that. I've got a whole bunch of vehicles up here to put into the landscape to show that it's being dug up and torn apart and destroyed. So, um, see, I've got some construction equipment and um, trash trucks and trailers and that's the other thing I have um, trailers like the kind I live in house trailers or in Britain they call them caravans so there's some of these up here too because we're going to make it look um, run down it's going to be a border town like for reals you find like Gallup New Mexico I'm going to get sued by Gallup New Mexico because I keep mentioning them by name there's a lot of towns like that though, so um, so there are travel trailers that people can live in and so picking out vehicles to put down here to kind of mess up the landscape and make it look icky. And over here is also where I'm putting in Sparks' creation of the, um, what's it called, oh the um, uranium thing. Now this is another um, teleport place. This is not part of the de degraded landscape. This is why? Put all these anvils here and why? Somebody's whitelisted on this server that needs to go. Yeah, anvils are not supposed to be here. I wonder what else they've been doing. There's not supposed to be any anvils here. Um, let's see. Uh, so this is. What's this one called? Well, this is the agricultural area where um, Golden Turkey is making me some customized um, command blocks to make um, specialized foods that are like real indigenous foods. Oh, I see. The anvils fell off of those things. Oh, well, that's what you get for using gravity blocks or something that needs to be cut and basted, right? So there may be a few dungeons here, but that's not the main purpose of this teleport area, but we will do things in the teleport areas. By the way, I have mobs off. Warp. Oh, gone. This is sort of the home base where, whoa, as you find things and collect them and gather them, you will um, bring them back here. There's a, this is for sleeping, setting your spawn. Um, there's places to cook and that kind of thing. And this says what? Non interwebs? Oh. <laughs> and then um, down here is storage and enchantment tables and that kind of junk. So um, there are dungeons under here too. Like I said, I've got the dungeons set to max. So um, I'm going to need some help finding the dungeons, locating them, and, and um, listing them in the book as well. Turtle Island is still a work in progress. Like I said, there's a lot of cosmetic stuff that can be worked on. See, all of these are dungeons. So, uh, yeah. See how close things are to each other? I'm trying to keep this map from getting huge, but teleport players around. So, people can actually... Um, ride back and forth from here to uh, the Hogan if they choose. And then if you keep going in the same direction from the Hogan through here to that other village and then beyond Turtle Island is beyond that. So I'm trying to keep it pretty well consolidated. And I will need help with some of the grunt work and some of the set designs and making sure stuff is in the chests and you know, that kind of thing. Just making sure things are placed around in the right order. So, and apparently sand has fallen on here because... Oh, I thought it was on top of a tree. Okay, that's naturally spawned. Excellent. So, if you have interest in helping me with this, let me know. Make sure I have a way to contact you so that we can make work dates to come over here and do the stuff together because it's a lot easier to do with teams of people than it is to do with single people. You will be credited in the map with a link back to whatever link you want to have for people to contact you. And 
you will, I mean, you'll be credited on this map. People will probably see a likeness of your face and definitely read your name. Goodness gracious. I've made a horse trap. And that's what we've got so far. Um, I don't really have much else to say besides it's a heck of a project. Uh, some people are really interested in it. Nothing like this has ever been done before, I don't think. My poor head. And it's a big opportunity for all of us to do something pretty unique in Minecraft that could make a difference in people's lives. Because it's not just a game, although I hope it'll be a really fun game. But it's also a way to get to know Native American people that um, it's kind of like being, if Native American people lived in Minecraft, it'd be kind of like that, you know? So it's a way to get to know a little bit about Native people. And um, it's a good way for Native people to get to know a little bit about Minecraft. If you'd like to participate, you know how to reach me. You can reach me through my channel or on Twitter. I'm R Riverstone on Twitter. I'm R Riverstone on Skype. R R I V E R S T O N E on Twitter and Skype. And let's get to work because I really want to get this done and I'm tired of being discouraged by the fact that. Um, it's like really overwhelming to do all by myself. Okay? So, thanks for watching. And I tug you about my arms, don't bend. Bye! <laughs> Google Analyticize! That's not a word! Bye! Like, dislike, share, comment, subscribe, and let's go on, get it!